in my memories, all I recall is nothing but government housing, house of friendship, waging battles and wardrobes against starving closets. I'm confused. I got brown skin but an Arabic name. A heritage that delves deep into African roots and accepts the sustenance produced in a land that is nor mine, nor the Europeans that call it home. Then I found myself in Italy, the country of my colonizers, but never truly found me. It's never boring in a Catholic boarding school, hoarding faith under pillows, trying to play the part of a Muslim with only Catholic roles being cast. Played games with these kids only because they needed me to fill in. Witnessed beatings more than I saw my parents. Held on as tight as I could because I am a proud Somali. I carry around a miniature cup of Vaseline for the lips, but I barely say a lot. Shout out to my Somalis who don't answer long distance on the phone because they know it's either bill collectors or family asking for money to be sent back home. <laughs> Truthfully though, I can't stand when we mix English and Somali like, yo, Allah, if it keeps haranting me, I'm going to set this whole place on dub. And if you're looking, you can find me getting my bags checked every time I take a domestic flight on foreign made planes across planes. Chasing the American dream, but baking and beer on the line with my identity. I read Japanese manga, I watch the animation, I think in English, I dream in English, I enjoy maple syrup, smothered pancakes, and my kindness is unprecedented. So that must mean I'm Canadian, eh? <laughs> but how can I be Canadian? How? If I have no favorite parts as a youth, no videos as a baby, barely any pictures of a place called home. And the only banks we could ever rely on were the food banks. Plus, there's this card with my name and picture of a youth who is no more confident of who he is, reminding me that this, this isn't my home, and that I'm just a citizen, and that my passport is just the passports. Yeah. Canada has been like a loving foster parent, more than welcome to house me and give me everything I need while I compete with her children. My birth home, Somalia. Know nothing more about the place and it was urgent that we leave. I want to call it home, but I don't recall it. Besides, how can you call a place home if you have no one in it left to call family? <laughs> Through my travels, I have learned that these borders, these symbols, these flags, man, these things are all meaningless. They're just a means to differentiate and not identify. I'm nomadic. Yeah. Home is where the heart is. My heart is always with me. Home, that's wherever I go.